What's up guys, I'm C5 from the beefy smash dudes and this is pretty lame. So today we want to show you how to survive the most dangerous kill moves in Smash 4 at least a little longer. The mechanics that make this possible are called directional influence or DI, vectoring and sometimes a mix of both. Now I'm sure that a lot of you already know how these work so I won't go over them in detail. Instead I'm going to send you over to this video of My Smash Corner if you haven't seen it yet. It explains the basics pretty well. But after that remember to come back and finish watching our video. The general rule of survival in Smash 4 is if you get knocked up you press the control stick either left or right. If you get knocked sideways you press your control stick into the opposite direction. But some moves are just weird or send you flying in an angle where you don't know what to do. So in this video we look specifically at some of the strongest moves and show you how to DI them correctly. Number 1. The strongest back throws. Ness, Villager and Toon Link. In most cases pressing towards the stage is the optimal way to DI. But in some rare cases when you are very far away from the side you can press diagonally down and towards the stage to prevent dying to the top. Number 2. The strongest up throws. Mewtwo, Rob and Charizard. For Mewtwo you can press towards or away from him. Both work fine. For Rob always press away from him. Pressing towards him results in very bad DI. Charizard is a little more specific. Press diagonally down and away from him to survive the longest. Number 3. Dangerous up airs. For some of them you can choose to press the control stick either left or right. Like against Game & Watch or Donkey Kong. But for others like Fox, Sheik and Rosa Luma the best option is to always DI into the direction they are facing, in this case to the right. So if you're not quite sure about your opponent's character just DI into the direction your opponent is facing. Rob's up air is a special case and that's also why it's so dangerous. It is a multi hit but it's practically impossible to get out of it before the last hit. Now we found out that the optimal DI depends on your position when the last hit strikes you. If you are to the right of Rob press the control stick diagonally down and right. If you are on his left side press it diagonally down and left. But seeing and reacting to where you are at the last hit of the move is very hard. Fortunately we found out how you can manipulate your end position while stuck in his robo claws. For some weird reason if you press your control stick to the left while being hit you will end up on his right side most of the time and if you press to the right it's the other way around. This means if you just press into one direction you get pushed exactly to the opposite side and your DI ends up being horrible. So when you see Rob is about to do his down throw up air combo on you, press the control stick first to the right and then diagonally down and left. Or first left and then down right. You can choose. Number 4. Strong up smashes. For a lot of those simply DIing away from your opponent works best like for Fox, Rosaluma or Mario. Luigi's up smash launches you a bit differently. Press diagonally down and towards him to survive the longest. By the way for both Mario and Luigi counts it doesn't matter whether the back or the front of the up smash hits you. Your DI should always stay the same. Another strong one is Diddy Kong's up smash. Here it depends on your position at the end of the hit again, but it's not as complicated as with Rob. You generally want to DI away from him. So if you are to the right of Diddy, you always want to DI to the right. 
same goes for the opposite direction. For his standing up smash, you will usually stay on the side you were before Diddy hit you. But when he uses the up smash while running towards you, it's very likely that he will slip through under you and you will end up on the other side of him. Try to react to that accordingly with your DI. And last but not least, number 5, the ridiculous up specials of Zero Suit Samus and Me Brawler. To make this clear, I won't talk about how you can get out of them, because that's a mystery itself. We will only look at the last hit, the one that actually launches you into oblivion. Now, the correct DI of this move depends on the position you are in, but most of the time you wanna press diagonally down and towards them. Now, if you are higher up and you think the danger of dying to the top is bigger than to the side, you can press directly down instead. You can even take this another step further and press diagonally down and away from them, but only do that if you are really far away from the sidewise blast box. One more thing about me brother. Sometimes you get dragged off stage from the up B and end up very close to the side. In this case, you should only press into his direction. And that's it for now. By the way, we opened up a shop on Spreadshirt.com, where you can buy all kinds of beefy Smash Dudes clothing and other cool stuff. So if you think about getting something new, you can support us by buying one of these. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy.